station is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. Dad! I know, I'm running late. Let me get sorted, I'll be quick. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Uh, do you have any post for us? Oh, yeah, I do. You know? You see that? I couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Are you guys all right? You too, you too. Molly, you're okay. Are you here to see my dad? I think he's sick. Yeah, can you let me in? Okay, I guess I'm not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. Thanks. Oh God, oh God, what the hell has happened to me? Jack, please say that's you in there. What the hell's going on? Why do I look like a terrible, fat old man? I think we're both having the same nightmare. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? Just open the door. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! I don't want it. Give me my body back. Wait. I thought I recognised this face in the mirror. If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! the name John. I'm not going to complain about that at this moment. Help! Help! Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? Your dad's a little bit unwell, so I'm going to take you to school. That's all right, isn't it? Sure. What's wrong with my dad? Oh, he just has an upset stomach, nothing serious. He probably just ate some gone-off meat or something. He was screaming because of an upset stomach. Maybe it was that jelly. Yeah, he made a bit of a mess in his room. Gross. Is Dad going to have to go to a hospital again? Don't worry. He's fine. Just, he has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. You've never called me Mole before. Will you make sure Dad's OK when I'm at school? He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by just saying no. Hey, Molly. Hello, whoever you are. Hey, Shaz. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He's not feeling well. Jack said he did number two all around his bedroom. Then he walked me to school. Oh, oh. It's not quite as dramatic as all of that. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. Molly, why don't you run along to school? Okay. 
OK, what's really happened to John? And why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? OK, I can explain. You better. I'm calling the police. I'm, um, John's cousin. Right. Why don't I believe you? Test me if you like. Ask me something that only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? Jane Smith. Biggest phobia? Riding the teacups. Makes him feel woozy. You really John's cousin? It's a complicated story. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shazia. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Again, I really appreciate it. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? He's done a runner. Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! I work with him. Sorry. He suffers from a terrible sleepwalking disorder. I wouldn't wake him. Could be dangerous. How does he know my name? He's lying! Amy, it's me! We've been friends forever! Oh, uh, I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Oh, you know, that you're a good friend. That I can open up to you and you'll listen. Yeah, you're a good listener. Well done for listening. Your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin. Your favourite sport is basketball. You secretly smoke, but you never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? Yeah. Don't tell me any secrets. I can't keep my mouth shut. Okay, well, I'll take care of him. Why don't you get off to, uh Work? Don't go! Amy! Amy, help me! I need your help! Great idea. Sorry again about this. It's nothing personal. You just need a cup of coffee to straighten him out. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Hang on a minute. We're both in exactly the same situation. Notice how much calmer I am. Now stop so we can talk about this. Just leave me alone. Oh, my body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? Yeah, that's my body telling you to slow the hell down. I can't even look at you! This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. 
Something like this doesn't just happen randomly. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. Okay, give me a moment to process this. Shit! What must they be thinking at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. Okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I've got the squits or something. Charming. Okay. It's ringing. Superfab Games. Sonia speaking. Hey, Sonia. It's Jack. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it in today because I got the squirts, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lying. Thanks. I will. Done. Yeah, Sonny's safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see, yeah. Okay, thanks. Who was it? It was your daughter's school. I said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. You need to chill out. She does like the swings. Okay, let's try there first. It feels seriously weird being you. Ooh, everything jiggles about as I move. Yeah, well, give it 15 years and you'll feel the same. Actually, why am I answering that? We need to find Molly. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. Not playing on the swings, then? All right, drinking cider on the swings. I don't know what you did in your day, right? Penny farthings or something, but that's basically what parks are for, getting pissed. you're all right. Oh, hi Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah. We're cool. No worries. Molly, promise me you'll never do that again. You scared me to death. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? So, something seems to have happened last night where... Um, how would you describe it? Our brains have got swapped. Well, I guess that's to the point. Okay, something happened, we're not sure what. But it does mean that I, your dad, now lives in this body. Jack's. Basically, I'm Jack and he's John. You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. OK. Chicken dippers. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? You get our old bodies back. All right! Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. 
That shirt's limited edition. It's all right. Don't come out in the wash. It won't. You both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. She's got a point. None of my clothes are going to fit me anymore. OK, we'll go get my stuff, but I want them back in the same condition I left them. She's a smart kid. She is. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? Mm. You get used to it. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course I can. It's my place. Jack, everybody thinks you're me. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? Well, for the time being, at least. Until we figure out how to get out of this situation. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. So what do we do? On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Square. Previously on Last Stop. Did you see that guy just then? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls, but I've not seen one of them leave. Let's follow him. I want his number. Holy shit! Get a video of this! <coughs> Leggett! <coughs> Help! We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. Where the hell are you? Um, here she is. Right. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at the Vex house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? I'm really, really sorry. It won't happen again. I had to come out here this late. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? He's just hanging out. I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. 
Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. We shouldn't bother Vivek's dad. He's poorly. He's got, um, gingivitis or something. Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiancé's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw-up. Are you happy now? Let's just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know Em can come on a bit strong at times, but she loves you. She has your best interests at heart. You're very quiet. Is something the matter? Just tired. I'm not your sister. I'm not going to ask where you were. But you can always tell me if you're in trouble. I promise. Nothing to worry about. I love your sister, Donna. I just want us all to be safe and get along. Yep, sounds good. You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing wrong? Look into my eyes. I'm fine. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too. are going out together. I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but now they're actually going out. Bill's such a player. I wonder how long that'll last. Don't you guys answer your phones anymore? Been texting all night. We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. My phone's out of battery. How did it go with your sister? No problem. You know Emma. She's just full of hot air. Has he said anything? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. Hey! I can't believe how tired I am. Did you bring any food? No. Should I have? Donna! I'm absolutely starving here! I'm pretty hungry too. Okay, let's get some supplies. We could do with tying the fella up a bit more securely. Cool. Becky, you stay here. Me and Viv will head out. Hang on, that's bullshit. You just got here. How about you stay and me and Viv go? It's cool. I'll watch him. 
You both go and bring back some food and some zip ties or something. All right. Whatevs. Come on already. I'm getting hangry. You must be shattered. You and Viv chatting all night. What did you talk about? You didn't mention anything about me to your sister last night, yeah? Why would I do that? Just, it was self-defence, yeah? And he's not dead or anything, so it's not even a crime, really. Don't worry. I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up. And if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. <sighs> Guess we're not going to school today. Screw school. It's the least of our problems. So what are we getting again? Some stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah. Uh, why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that. Hi, can I have a Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape, and a bunch of double thick zip ties? <laughs> How old are you? Should you two be in school? It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? Do you really care, mate? Come on. Firstly, no, not really. But I do care about going to prison. You're not buying this knife, you're too young. Dickhead. Out! That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first walked in there, just in case. Oh, you little thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder stationery on us. Mr Hughes. What are you two doing here? Why aren't you at school? We could ask you the same question. Bold? Don't back chat to me. You two are in a lot of trouble. Hang on a second. Oh, for Pete's sake. Family problems. Look, I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. Piss off. I got us out of that, didn't I? Yeah, well done. Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? Huh? Yeah, he's a sweetie. Would it be weird? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it probably would be weird. You're right. That's what I thought too at first. But opposites can attract, can't they? And I could use a good roll around. What's up? You've gone quiet. I'm fine. Don't be weird. What's going on? Sorry. I'm just worried about the stranger and stuff. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. <gasps> oh no. We totally forgot to get any food for Viv! Oh, just don't mention it to him. He's probably forgotten anyway. Hey! Donna forgot to get you any food. Oi! No worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. I bought some cable ties and a box cutter. Okay. I guess we can tie them up a bit more securely.
Okay, he's not going anywhere for now. Let's hope he doesn't have superhuman strength as well. I really need to go. Me too. Need to figure out a good excuse where I've been on the way home. I'll walk with you. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? Yeah. You go get some sleep. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Did he say anything while you were looking after him? Nope. I did try talking to him, but not a word. Hey, hot stranger. We're going now. Please don't eat our friend. Get out of here already. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv. This is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution, maybe an ASBO at most. But I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you think? Not much of a talker, are you? You gonna be quiet the whole time? You've scared of me or something. Or is that your tactic? To throw me off guard? Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you free. You must think I'm such a terrible person. But none of this is my fault. It's just one of those things. Is Becky your friend? So you can speak, and apparently you know Becky. Is Becky your friend? Yeah. I mean, do you know Becky? Of course. Oh, you do? She hit me. She's why I'm with you now. Oh, I see. Hang on a minute. She was acting in self-defense. She was protecting me. Could I stretch my legs a moment? You must think I was born yesterday. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. What were they talking about? My legs are stiff. All right, fine. You can walk around for a bit, but no funny stuff. And try speaking more normally. I can try. Okay. Up you get then. You can have ten minutes. Come on then, tell me what I want to know. They were very animated with each other. That's a little vague. This matters to you, doesn't it? We had a deal, remember? Do you find it difficult opening up to people? What is this therapy? Please, I get enough of that from my sister. Emma? How'd you 
You mentioned her last night. Oh, right. The phone call. <sighs> Bit nosy, aren't you? I'm interested. That's the sort of thing Emma would say. You two should hang out. Okay. You're funny. I see. <laughs> the thing is with her is that she treats me like a child to insult me, and then expects me to be a grown-up when it suits her. I can't win. Sounds like you hate her. No, that's a bit much. No, I don't know. Family, eh? You'd be better on your own. What are you saying? I think I would like to sit down now. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Last night, when you made the water glow, what was that? I enjoyed our talk earlier. Stop trying to change the subject. If you promise not to tell anyone, maybe I could show you. Okay, go for it. Come. A little closer. Hey! Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh, are you alright, Donna? Don't mind her. Just show me what you did last night. Okay. Getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not going to hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. Fine, don't believe me then. Is Viv on his way? No, I texted to say he was in shit with his dad. Oh. I guess that's to be expected. How long are we going to keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's going to be there. I really need to head home. Let's talk with Viv when we next see him. Hey, Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Oh. Hope Mum's okay. Sorry I'm late. I had to stay after school. Okay, well, I think I'll go straight to bed. I'm shattered. How was school today? Yeah, good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. Oh. Yeah, I did, uh, but it's fine. Anyway, probably should we get into bed. Where's your school bag, Donna? What's with the Spanish Inquisition? Oh, I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been at detention. Apparently. Is Mum all right? She's fine. By the way, thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. Just Ash said she was poorly. I said she's fine. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. I was only asking. I've enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. Oh, I was at the cinema with Becky and Vivek. I, I thought you said you were at detention. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. 
I'm sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Specs, leave a message. Becky, why aren't you answering your phone? I'm coming over now. Hope you're okay. What are you doing back here? Just checking in. Come on, I'll take over. You go to that party. Seriously? Yeah, go and have fun. Awesome. Anything interesting happen while I was gone? Nah, you heard from Viv. I wonder if he can make Moises too. Dunno. I'll give him a call. Phone working now then? What? I tried calling you earlier. Oh right, yeah, I'd switched it off to save battery. Catch you later, Becky. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. I'm fine. Is it your sister? Yes. And that's the last we're going to talk about it. I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. <sighs> okay. Let's get some things straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I understand. Good. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. You could have escaped. What are you still doing here? You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. Then loosen my restraints. suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. I really wish you hadn't have come. So I followed you down here. Waited outside to see if you'd come out. Just come over here for a moment and we can sort this out. I need to get Emma. 
gosh, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! 